years ago, on the day before the November runoff for governor, Bobby Jindal made a final campaign stop in Alexandria. I was a reporter covering that event, and remember, the energy was incredibly high. Four years later, that energy has not diminished in the least. I'm Bobby Jindal. I'm here to announce my candidacy. You're <laughs> next governor of this great state. <laughs> yeah! That the scene out at England Air Park this morning as First District Congressman Bobby Jindal officially kicked off his second attempt at the governor's mansion. Close to 100 supporters showing up at the Millionaire Terminal Conference Room to hear Jindal talk about familiar themes, broken government, the state's poor leadership, his plan to change all of that, and what he calls a war on corruption. People are saying, now's the time for us to be on the top of those good lists. Now's the time for us to be setting the national standard for ethics. Now's the time for our kids to pursue their dreams here at home without having to go to Texas or Georgia. It's an exciting time to be in Louisiana. Now, the fight's not going to be easy. There will be people that will defend the status quo. But I've got confidence we can get it done. This is our time right now, right here in Louisiana. Looming over Jindal's seven-city tour stop is the news of U.S. Senator David Vitter, Jindal's predecessor in the 1st District. We were asked by Jindal's campaign handlers not to ask him about the senator's current affairs, which have drawn national attention. Well, we felt it our obligation to do otherwise, especially with so much of the congressman's announcement speech focusing on political ethics. And right, right now the big matter people are talking about is the issue with Senator Vitter. And you're talking a lot about ethics. So give me your position on what's happened with him. You know, we talked about that Friday. Today's about the future of Louisiana. Today's about making change. Today's about becoming number one, not 50th on all those good lists. And because of Jindal's tight schedule, we were only allowed to ask him three questions. As for Jindal saying, we talked about that Friday. He was referring to a prepared statement that he had made about the Vitter issue. In that statement, Jindal said that he and his wife were disappointed by Vitter's actions, but were keeping the senator and his family in their prayers. Vitter had been a strong supporter of Jindal before the news of the senator's personal scandal last week. And it was one week ago the news first broke about Senator Vitter's now famous acts of indiscretion. The senator has been a no-show on Capitol Hill ever since the news of his connection to a D.C. madam. But Vitter says he will be back on the Hill this week. The senator's office releasing a statement yesterday saying that Vitter will return to the Senate this week, although the statement is not saying when. On Friday, one of Vitter's fellow senators said he expected Vitter to return on Tuesday. Meanwhile,